Rina is an extremely strong support, perhaps the best support as of making this guide. And so, if you want to know her best skills, best W engines, best disk drives, best teams, then watch this video to find out. So first, let's give a brief overview of just who the heck Rina is, what her skills are, and which skills you should level first. So Rina is an electric support character who focuses on buffing your damage status so they can deal with some pretty good damage. Now as for her kit, she firstly has her basic attack, where she basically attacks with her bamboo puppets dealing both physical and electro damage and she can hold this attack to deal electric damage around herself. Next are her dash attacks in which if she dodges and then attacks immediately after she'll deal some physical damage and then if she perfect dodges she'll deal electric damage so definitely keep that in mind. Next her assist skills. Firstly if the character is launched you can switch to Rena and deal some electric damage. And then if you use her skill right after an invasive assist, she'll send out her bamboo puppets, dealing once again electric damage. Next is her special attack, which when it's uncharged, will do a downward slash dealing small amounts of electric damage. And then once she has more energy, it will deal multiple slashes, dealing huge amounts of damage. Her skill is something you'll use a ton, so definitely use this when you have enough energy as it does a ton more damage than with no energy. It also has a somewhat long animation and this will be important because of her core passive. More on that later. Her chain attack is next and it sends out the bamboos in a ball of electric damage, dealing absolutely huge amounts of damage. Now you cannot attack while this is going on so be wary of that. Finally we have her ultimate which like a lot of her skills it will deal electric damage and have a pretty cool animation to it. But now that's it for her active skills. She also of course has her core passive. Now this is the big reason you're going to be using her. See her core passive will grant the other team members in your team increased pen ratio, which is a ratio that will ignore a certain amount of the enemy's defense based on Rena's pen ratio plus a certain amount depending on how leveled this ability is and that this will be triggered each time the bamboos are on the field. Now this may seem a bit odd until you realize that anytime Rena attacks these bamboos will be left out on the field for a few seconds and so if you use a skill it will have a long animation that will carry over when you switch characters meaning the switch character will be granted this buff while the bamboos are in animation. Now this is what defines your playstyle. It is pretty much making sure that these bamboos are on the field so your main DPS can deal a ton of damage and it's also the challenging part of playing her as you have to swap to her enough so you can get these bamboos down but at the same time if you're swapping too much your main dps won't be able to get good damage on the enemy so finding that middle ground will be important now she also has an additional ability that will whenever there is an additional character who shares the same element or faction the shock duration on enemies will be increased by three seconds as well as when there are shocked enemies on the battlefield all team members electric damage increases by 10%. Now this is great, it's just a straight up DPS increase to any electric team without any downsides really. Yeah enough said, it's a really good ability and further makes her a must use in electric teams. Now we reach a part you've been waiting for, which skills to upgrade first. Well first obviously is her core passive, this passive is her bread and her butter and the big reason you're going to be using her. So whenever you have the materials to upgrade this, do it immediately. Second thing to upgrade is her chain attack slash ultimate skill. Now her ultimate we're not going to be using that much as remember the decibel gauge is shared across all team members so it's mainly going to be used for your main dps but because the chain attack is part of the skill upgrade you'll want to upgrade it for that reason because chain attacks are something that you'll be using a lot of so increasing this will be a huge dps increase for your team Next will be your skill, as this will be used quite a bit, mainly because not only does it deal quite good damage, but the duration of the skill will mean her bamboos are on the field for a long time. After that we have her basic attacks, then her assist skill, and finally her dodge skill. 
So that was it for her skills and skill priority. Let's now talk about her W engines. So the best W engine and the best S rank engine for her is without a doubt Weeping Cradle. This engine is made for her. Firstly it offers pin ratio as the W engine stat which with her core passive is so good to have. Next it gives energy regen when she is off field but finally and more importantly whenever she attacks an enemy her team's damage against the struck enemy will be increased by 10% at base rank for 3 seconds. This will also increase every 0.5 seconds for that 3 second duration. Attacking multiple times will refresh this. So as you can see it really is made for her and quickly swapping to her using her attacks and then swapping back to your main DPS so you can deal a ton of damage is the play here. And so definitely definitely use this if you are lucky enough to get this during your pulls. For A rank W engines, the first would have to be the Slice of Time W engine. This is great with Arena, it offers pin ratio which, as I've mentioned before, is perfect on Arena. It then gives any team member more decibels and energy when they use their skill, chain attack, assist attack, all that every 12 seconds. This is a great support effect paired with pin ratio which makes it by far the best A rank engine for Rena. It also is worth mentioning that you will get this W engine by playing the game through the primer missions and so you don't have to worry about pulling for this. Another A rank engine you could use is Kaboom the Cannon. This gives energy regen which again isn't too bad on Rena. not as good as pin ratio but still okay. But the effect will increase the team's attack percentage every time a team member attacks stacking up to 4 times. This is pretty decent but still not quite as good as the aforementioned W engine. The last A rank you could use is Unfettered Game Ball. This grants energy regen and whenever you trigger an attribute counter effect the crit rate of the team increases by 12% at base rank for 20 seconds. Again not bad but because Slice of Time is free to play it's much more recommended to use that instead of this. Now finally we reach the B ranks. The only decent B rank I'd recommend is the Reverb Mark 2 or Reverb Mark the Second. This will grant firstly energy regen which is pretty good and give an effect that anytime Rena uses a chain attack or an X special attack that's the one with the energy she'll grant all team members a 10% anomaly mastery and proficiency buff for 10 seconds. This is pretty good and in fact at S5 rank it can actually perform pretty well even compared to the A ranks and so if you don't have slice of time yet or other A ranks then definitely give this a try. Now we reach disc drives, the artifacts of this game. So we're going to be running a 4 piece set and a 2 piece set as there are 6 slots and so for the 4 piece set without a doubt it has to be swing jazz. Swing jazz will firstly grant energy regen which is nice especially if you're running a W engine with pin ratio this will make up for that loss in energy regen. But more importantly swing jazz will increase your team's damage, yes damage not attack by 15% for 12 seconds anytime Rena uses her ultimate or chain attack and it's that chain attacks that's really going to activate this for us. And so yeah the damage buff is very substantial, it really cements Rena as the top support for any electric team and you will see a difference once the set is equipped. Now the other possible four set you could run with Arena is the Freedom Blue set. This will firstly increase her anomaly proficiency by 30 but more importantly when an X special attack hits the enemy the enemy's anomaly build up resistance will be decreased by 20% for 8 seconds depending on the attacker's attribute. So if you're running a mono electric team which you probably will be this is going to be extremely good. In fact having this set in the team is highly recommended and so you may be wondering whether to run this or swing jazz and the big thing I would consider is that if you're going to be running grace in your team or another anomaly character then you're probably going to be running freedom blues on them so you don't need it for arena. Also the fact that the damage buff on swing jazz is just that good not to run. Now alongside these you're also going to be running a 2p set and the two 2p sets that you can run is first freedom blues. Now this is obviously if you aren't running the 4p set before. Now like I mentioned before it will grant a 30 anomaly proficiency stat which is very nice on arena. 
You can also run the Puffer Electro Set that will grant a 8% pin ratio buff if you need more pin ratio. But the two piece red and blue set is a lot better. So that's the sets themselves, but what about the stats that you should be focusing on? So you'll want to go for anomaly proficiency in the fourth slot, pin ratio for the fifth slot, and finally anomaly mastery for the sixth slot. For the substats, focus on anomaly proficiency, then attack percentage, then pin flat, and finally flat attack or energy region. All of these stats are focused on getting Rena's anomaly stats and pin stats as high as possible for the maximum amount of damage she can do and provide with her core passive. Now just before we talk about her best teams, let's first have a quick chat about her Mindscape Cinema levels, which are the dupes of this game. So first up is her let's say M1, which will make her puppet bamboos stay on the field for 5.5 seconds more and when a character is near them, the core passive effect will be increased to 130% of the value. Yeah, I mean this is just crazy good. The whole thing with Rena is her core passive and keeping these bamboos on the field as much as possible to trigger her core passive. And so this, which grants an enormous 5.5 additional seconds, is just insane. And the fact that if you're near these bamboos, about 10 meters, it will further increase. Which means if you're playing a melee character, which you probably will be, you'll always get this additional buff. Overall, very impressive. Arguably one of the best dupe abilities in the game. And by far, if you get the opportunity, definitely go for this. Her M2 states that upon switching to her, her damage will be increased by 15% for 12 seconds. This is not too bad. While she is a support, so her focus is in damage, this will improve not only her chain attacks that will trigger this, but her special attacks that will use in battle. Not bad. Her M3 will increase her skills by 2 levels. Nice. Her M4 will increase her energy regen by 0.5 per second when her bamboos are on the field. Now this is quite nice and can help with some energy troubles and will make it so you don't have to worry about energy regen for her sub stats. M5 will increase her skills by another 2 levels, very nice. M6 will increase her team's electric damage by 15% for 8 seconds anytime Rena uses her X special attack, chain attack or ultimate, just when you thought she couldn't have another buff, she has one more. Now most people won't be getting this M6 for a very long time, perhaps never, but this ability is really good. While we won't be using her ultimate a lot, her chain attack and X special attack will be something we will use quite often, which makes this very very good. Finally we reach her teams, starting with her best team as of making this video is Anton, Grace and Rena. So all of these characters are electric, which means they activate Rena's abilities, the one that increases the shock duration, which is really nice. Now Anton in this team will fit that main DPS role and he's alright, but he is only a 4 star, so his damage isn't great. Unfortunately as of making this video, i.e. at launch, he is the only main DPS electric character we have. Perhaps in the future when we get another character, I'll update this guide, but for now Anton is your best bet. Secondly we have Grace, another S rank. Now Grace is an anomaly character, meaning she excels at afflicting anomaly effects on the enemy which for electric is shock. Now this is great news as a lot of your damage is going to be coming from this anomaly effect, especially as Rena has buffs that will help this out. And so overall this team is by far the best team Rena has right now. It does require another S rank, but if you do have this team then definitely use it and once a better main DPS comes out then definitely use them instead of Anton. Now the free to play friendly team is quite similar in which you just replace Grace with Anbi. Now Anbi is a stun based character as opposed to Grace being an anomaly character meaning instead of wanting to apply shock as fast as possible, Anbi seeks to instead stun the enemy as much as possible by increasing their day's gauge, which she does a good job at. Now this means the way you play these two teams is slightly different as with a stun team you're gonna be, you know, stunning them, getting those chain attacks and dealing a ton of damage that way, whereas with a grace team you're gonna be focusing on inflicting anomaly and getting them shocked. So yeah, that was it for this arena guide, it was quite a long one, hopefully I didn't forget anything, but yeah, she's a great electric support character that will probably be used for a while to come. I'll probably be doing guides on Anton and Unbi, seeing as I have used them quite a lot alongside Arena. But now, if you did enjoy this guide, leave a like, comment, subscribe for more Zenazone Zero content.